Pakadita Mosidi, Mosasidi rather, is Democratic Congress signed an intent to enter into a coalition with the Deputy Prime Minister Machajal Metsing's uh, Lesotho Congress for Democracy and five other parties. The wheels are now in motion to install that new coalition into government. A special notice has been issued calling all 120 members of the National Assembly who will be sworn in tomorrow. The National Assembly will elect a Speaker and Deputy Speaker and the Speaker will then formally begin the process of voting for the new Prime Minister, culminating in a swearing-in ceremony. Now for an update on this story, we are now joined on the line by our reporter Palesa Moeti, who is in Lesotho. Palesa, very good morning to you. Can you tell us what is expected to happen today? Okay, let me just say that proceedings began at 9 a.m. sharp under very tight security. In fact, the South African Police Service has also been roped in to come and uh, make sure that security is maintained and it's tight. Um, today's proceedings are all about the election of the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, as well as the swelling in of the 120 MPs. From there, after the Speaker will kickstart the process of electing the Prime Minister, his or, his or her inauguration will happen on the 17th of March um, 2015. Um, so far, Nkoi Mozamai has been um, elected as the Speaker of the Parliament of Lesotho. Um, that process was preceded by a process of voting, but before then, um, she from um, Glory Mozamai from the DC had been nominated alongside Silula Mapala from the ABC. Now, um, a secret ballots were cast, and the voting, or rather the counting process, begin, began immediately. The announcement of the speaker was done by the um, officer, or rather the parliament's um, clerk. Now, the same process to elect a deputy speaker will be followed. Just before I left, um, Mutamai, the new speaker, had just taken to the podium just to say a few words. Now, immediately after that, she will start with the process of officiating, um, you know, the voting for the deputy speaker. Now, just to add on to that, outside of these processes, there were other developments which included um, a lot of frustrations from the media, as a lot of some journalists, especially local journalists, were locked outside um, of Parliament because of a shortage of seats in the media gallery. So that was just a lot of frustration on that side. And also, inside the media gallery itself, um, one of the Lesotho's police officers came in, and what basically could be described as harassment, um, demanded that all the journalists that are seated produce their media cards. Now, this is despite the um, fact that earlier there was an accreditation um, process and all the media were issued with accreditation and all of their details were taken down. But um, we are told that it's it all basically boils down to, you know, the tight security measures that have been implemented. And with that, it's back to you in the studio. Palisa, thank you so much. That was Palisa Moeti, our reporter, and Masero, giving us an update there.